Hello and welcome back to our civil plan maintenance. This is Farooq from Cube ERP. So in this session we are going to see how to do a goods issue for different type of uh, stocks. I mean for a non-stock item, for a stock item and for a serial number manager item. So first we will start with the non-stock item. So non-stock item can be something which is uh, something which we cannot or which we do not keep in stock due to any reason could be like it's uh, too cumbersome to keep track of the stock is very small is, or it's very expensive it's very heavy it's very big we rarely use it so there's a number of different reasons for why we we might not want to have any stock what will happen is we will just uh, create a order we will put a component and say it is non stock will buy it and but consume it immediately so it will never go in it will not go into our stock so to start the process we will need to create a maintenance order so i will just create a maintenance order iw31 uh, i will have pm02 as a normal order we're going to use we have been using rather breakdown maintenance order the equipment I'm going to use is desktop. So we might what I'm saying is we are going to replace some component of the desktop. Because it's uh, say very rarely that we need a part so we don't have anything in stock. We just always buy and replace it directly. So replace the mouse with Microsoft mouse okay so this is what we are going to do so we have a desktop we have got the equipment we have got the work center press enter and then we go into operations replace the mouse with Microsoft mouse I uh, will just put some durations and now in the component I have a mouse, Microsoft mouse, which is M mouse, so quantity is 1. Item category, so the item category will decide it is a stock item or a non-stock item. So because we are doing the example of non-stock, so it will be N non-stock item. Slock, we don't need to give slock because it's not in a stock item, 1000. And for now we need to back flush indicator we need to take it uh, before I go any forward I will just have a look at the stock to see to show you what is the stock situation I can go into MB52 see the stock situation so there is zero stock So let's we put the duration, we put the time, we have put the component, we give the item category correctly and now what we will do is we will release release and save the order. So we go into Go to let's do the permit. That's it. We don't need anything else. We can just say release. Will be released after update. We'll just save it. So the order has been saved. We have order number eight two zero zero four zero. So once the order has been saved, it should have updated the costs in the background, and it should also have created a purchase requisition so that we we could buy the material. So let's see. Uh, let's go back into the order in display mode. So let's have a look at the cost. Costs have been planned, costs have been updated. 
uh, let's go into component this is a component select component go into purchasing and we have a purchase acquisition number there another way to see the purchase acquisition and the stock status is we go into transaction called md04 so i will go backslash omd04 This is the material mouse plant it is 1000 press enter so now you can see we have got a purchase acquisition number and we have order number order reservation purchase acquisition so the next step is to convert this purchase acquisition to can be converted into purchase order or we can create purchase order directly with the purchase acquisition so let's go into transaction ME21N to create a purchase order uh, in the purchase order this is the purchase order transaction screen so this is the field which is purchase acquisition so let me copy the purchase acquisition number from the order and drop it directly so by this one I will not have to enter any material quantity etc uh, what I need to do is to tell it which vendor to buy from it is asking me for the price say twelve dollars and if we so the material is there quantity is there so this is F here which is order so this is against an order so it will be consumed against an order so if you can also take a look at account assignment this is a GL account it's going to post and this is the order number against which this is being created uh, we don't have any issues with this one all the data is has been filled up we can just save it so now we have a purchase order number uh, let me do a okay so this is a purchase order number so if I go back into our stock situation there is no stock so there is still no stock let me go into now let me go and do a my go to receive the stock so let me take up this view and I will go into transaction called my go Uh, let me update this number 7801 7801 this is the purchase order number so now we are going to process GR for the purchase order via MyGo so this is asking me for the purchase order number purchase order number let me just copy it again go into my go go to seat for purchase order so once I press enter it will update everything if you need you can put the what is the delivery note what is the BL bill of lading any text that you want to put in for your tracking purposes so this is the material one quantity is coming into plant there is no S lock nothing is there because it's is going to be consumed purchase order number, the line item number, the vendor we are buying from, account assignment where it is going to be consumed. So the next step is say item is ok. If you want to do a checking you can press this one to see if there is any error. I am not going to do that. I am just going to do a posting. So once I post it, it will be received and consumed at the same time it will not go and update our stock the stock situation will not change so the material document has been posted but if I go and see my stock situation let me do a refresh there is no stock everything is zero we can see this document we can go into transaction called mp03 to display our material document so 
So this is the detail of the document. This is where this is the material document that has been processed, which has been created. So now if I go back into my order, IW32. The cost should have been updated. Actual has been updated. So the material has already been received and consumed. Accounting posting has already been done. So that's about it. Uh, this is how you can do a goods issue of a non-stock item for a maintenance order. And once this is done, then the next step is, is to do a confirmation of order through IW41, then do technical completion, variance posting, uh, business completion, etc. etc. So, in the next session, I will take up uh, issue of stock item and then we will take a look at the issue of uh, stock and serial managed item. Okay, so this, this is about it for this session. I will close this session and see you in the next session. Thank you.